Good morning, it is Phoenix morning. Yes, look what time it is. It is almost five, as you can see. We are in hoodie and uh, hair thrown back mode today because naturally, uh, last night was the uh, practice meet. You saw me write some stuff. Now I'm saying it verbally so people understand X does not come home and talk ish about his teammates. When he says little stuff, he was like, yeah, so-and-so, he's not a 400. He, he was gone at first 200 and then he kind of put it out. That's how he talks. So for all these people, when you read stuff, you're like, he went home talking ish about me. No, he talks like a teammate who's just making observations. This is the thing that you can help each other with, but not you're not the coach. Now, I say this because that is the issue we had eighth grade. Now, these kids, when they start getting to trying to coach each other, mm -mm. just like when he said the teammate after he ran that four by four was like, you shouldn't have spread the whole thing it's like I'm supposed to. Something he said, and I had to remind him, coach, right, being the one that's kind of knowing how he's running. He was like, I hate the cross country kids that have so much stamina. I said, dude, you ran four events in two hours, right? I said, this is similar to that eighth grade thing where till you get acclimated or maybe they won't even have you run the four. Summer track, they do three. So you, you had to do four tonight. So by the time you get to relay, you're like, oh, why am I so winded? That's why. So you have to kind of remind the athletes to keep perspective. What I'm looking for at the practice meet, I'm looking for form. This is me. I'm not the coach. I need to stress to these, some of the drama parents that were like, she thinks she got pulled. Listen, I'm sharing information because I know what I'm talking about. They can take or leave it. When I say they, I'm talking about more the kids than anything. So understand something. I really was looking for that four by four. Once I saw that he was going to run anchor, I said, this is good and new for him. Reason being, the lead that one boy had was huge, okay, and I liked it because I knew X's mindset, and I've told people before, he is really, and a lot of kids are, you have some that know how to catch people, he's one of those people, so when that boy was gone, I said, he's going to catch up to him, he didn't pass him, but I said, he's going to catch up to him, I liked that there was such a big lead because I knew that pushed him, now, what I'd like to do is to see how well the boys run when y'all have sweats and hoodies on when it's cold, if you notice sometime intuitively when I start blogging old stories, when I go to discover, mm, no sweats and no hoodie, and there it is. That is what happened. And it's funny because I walked into the stadium and I looked around and I, first thing I, he, as he saw me, because he started looking through his friends and he poked that head around and looked up, I could see it look like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I said, you cold, huh? I said, where your sweats? You know, I did the gesture because obviously we're far away and I tapped my leg like, where your sweats? And then he was like, I, well, I don't have any. And I just left it alone because I'm still, just get your mind just on running. You cold, you shivering, just run. Now, understand something. When you are dealing with this whole aspect of trying to get him back in that mode of um, the academics, now you will see him kind of perk up in regards to to that as well no he did not need to play the basketball trust me when i say that because he was tired so all this catch up from death of you know, my father and all this stuff you really had to give him a little bit of time to kind of adjust to all that that's just real talk i'm not even here to get sympathy i'm just speaking on facts so let's see where we go from here take care